Football for Good as a movement is trying to be the change we want to see in the world. And that means being gender inclusive. It means advancing gender equality. It means providing equitable opportunities for girls and women. We believe that all girls are born leaders, but they don't have many opportunities to develop those skills. We can support them to build their confidence, learn how to use their voice and speak up for themselves. One of the biggest obstacles facing girls, not just in football, but outside of it, is that as girls approach adolescence, their world gets so much smaller. Right around the age of 12, their world really starts to shrink. It becomes sometimes contained to their home. They have a lot of household chores. They often have to take care of younger siblings. Some girls are not allowed to play football from home. So whenever they miss training and you ask them, why aren't you training? They be like, my mom refused me to play. We are bringing together organizations for the Global Goal 5 Accelerator. And the Accelerator's goal is to holistically advance gender equality through football, on the pitch, trying to get more girls to the pitch and participating in these programs, on the sidelines, developing more female coaches and pathways to leadership opportunities for women, and in organizations. We have men in the room, we have women in the room, and that's the way we can increase the number of women on the pitch is by bringing everybody at the table and discussing the barriers that are affecting girls and young women to participate. For example, in our country, Kenya, you find that only the football is for men. So when we increase the number of football coaches, they will be able to recruit more girls in our communities and telling them the importance of football and also football connects people from different places. Football is a good tool for young women because football teaches a lot of things. It's not all about passing around the ball. Football teaches decision making. It teaches teamwork, it builds the confidence of these young women that they can carry that confidence into their other aspects of life. They can carry the lessons they learn in football into other aspects of their lives, which empowers them. It's very important to have role models or to have coaches these girls can look up to because it does not only take cones, bibs and a ball to get girls on the pitch. They need to be able to see someone they look up to. I personally believe you cannot be what you can't see. So if they have more role models in leadership positions, they are also motivated to become like them or to even create their own parts. We think it's very, very important to have strong visibility of female leaders in a sports setting, in football for good organisations, but also in sport more broadly, so that girls see that this, these pathways exist for them and that they can aspire to something.